Welcome back, my children of the internet. It's me, your host, Elric Ferris, here on the Tech of Tomorrow channel with my co-sponsor today, Buddy the Dog. Mr. Buddy, say hi to the audience out there. Whoa, hello, everybody. So today, we're going to bring you guys something cool. You guys all know Cooler Master, famous for their half series of cases. Got a new one of those coming out real soon for you folks as well. But today, we're going to be taking a look at one of their latest keyboards from their awesome CM Storm series of stuff. Now, this is a brand new keyboard. This is their new quick fire gaming keyboard. This thing's pretty awesome. Today we'll be in the unboxing and the first look of this little thing, which I actually have over here. That said, before the dog starts licking my face, let's jump to the next scene and let's do the actual uh, unboxing and first look, shall we? All right, me and Buddy will see you in a second. All right, folks, like every unboxing, first thing comes the box. Let's just talk a little bit about the features. This thing has high durability, gold-plated Cherry MX switches that are rated for over 50 million keystrokes. Pretty impressive stuff. That means also if you're hitting a lot of keys at a lot of times, they're not gonna go bad on you. Also, multimedia control keys for convenient sound control. That means you're gonna be able to control all your sound or anything from the keyboard itself. Nothing new there, but it should be cool. NKRO in USB mode. Now, the NKRO me, that's what I was talking about a minute ago, NKRO mode is when you can hit all kinds of keys, like when you're doing combination moves and stuff like that. And with NKRO keys, you won't have any problem with the thing freezing up or anything like that. That's a very important feature for those people who play the multimedia online games or they're doing a bunch of magic spells and stuff like that. Very important stuff. Also, this thing has 14 karat gold plated ultra low latency USB plugs, a storm key that deactivates the Windows key. 1000 hertz driverless polling, one millisecond response time on the keys, very, very fast. Red backlighting for gaming key clusters, strong braided cable to protect the connections, and last but not least, premium non-slip rubber coating. This thing's all supposed to have totally laser etched keys and a lot of other cool stuff. All right, you guys have seen the front of the box? Real quick, I'll just jump around, flip to the back just so you guys can see this. Shows some of those features and everything there. I've got a couple of knives here. Knife number one, we're gonna do a dual little thing here. Knife number two, should be interesting. Flip the little thing around. So we've got two little plastic tabs here. I'm going to try to do this all stealth moody. Oh, can I do it? One, two, oh, I did it, cool. I'm gonna need the knives, I'll set those off to the side so the cameraman doesn't cut himself or I don't cut myself or if someone doesn't get cut, okay? okay. All right, so we're open it up. So we've got a nice plastic protector right here. Take this, go ahead and just uh, pull the keyboard out and see what else we got in here. All right, well, we've got that. Got the plastic thing, little sound effects here as I toss it off to the side. Oh, hey, it came back at me. All right, let's try that again. Stay over there, you're not a boomerang. You're a piece of plastic, learn your place. All right, Quick Fire Pro Quick Start Guide, mechanical gaming keyboard. Just shows some different keystrokes in there. This one's also the brown version. I guess there's going to be different models of this for different regions. Like, I guess if you live in China or something, you can get a different one. Oop, that one's sliding off the desk. All right, so underneath here, cable management. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about this. You guys really schooled me on this a long time ago. This is to remove the keys. That's right, to remove and replace the keys. It's either that or it's the fucking gayest Power Ranger ring I've ever seen in my life. One or the other. I think it's that, though. So here's the cable for plugging in the keyboard. Let me go ahead and just dewire it. We'll see how long it is. It looks pretty tall. I mean, I'm six feet tall, so I think this is a six foot long cable. Nice gold plated ends there. Let's move on. Here is the actual keyboard itself and it's nice packaging. We shall remove it now. Dun, 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 oh! No, all right. So let's check this bad boy out. Let me get an angle here where the camera can get some really cool shots right there. You guys can see the keyboards laid out just like pretty much like all the other keyboards are. I really like the keys, the Cherry MX stuff. It's going to all be very nice for the gamers out there. WASD is placed far apart. Um, I'm going to bring this up to the cameraman closer. You guys can see there's actually some decent spacing between the keys. You're either going to like that or love that. Personally, I like that. It gives you room between the keys. It makes it very good for gaming. I don't know how it'll be for typing. But let's move over here. Here's the keypad. We got the CM Storm logo right there. Go ahead and flip it around the back. 
Here's a total backside. We have little flippers here for angling the keyboard up. Here's a sticker on here saying, do not remove, okay. Okay, I won't remove it then. I shall be ever obedient. Sitting so here looking around this thing. Folks, I spin it around, just trying to see where everything hooks up at. Also, when you buy this keyboard and you start looking around, you're wondering where to hook it up. I actually looked around for a second. It's actually here under the underbelly. So it's kind of actually, honestly, I don't know if this is such a superb spot to put this in. This isn't uh, all that ergonomic, I don't think, to actually put the thing in. Yeah, it's actually not going in all that well at all. So it's probably one of those things that's like super simple, but super pain in the butt. Okay, so there we go. I finally got it in. So hey, that's it folks. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. This was the new CM Storm Quickfire Pro. You saw it here on Tech of Tomorrow.